During the build-up to the Scott Expedition, we've been working closely with Intel to create some innovative ways for communicating with the team back at home and for sharing our story with what will hopefully be a big online audience. Simon and the team at Intel have been using some of the batteries, solar panels and equipment I've used on previous expeditions and also modifying, altering and enhancing them so that the setup we take with us to Antarctica will be the most advanced we've ever used. They've been busy soldering new connections, uh, stripping down and building up the battery cells to tailor them to the extreme conditions we're likely to face out on the ice. Most impressively though, they've been using a cold chamber, which is a sort of extreme version of a fridge, to make sure all the hardware we're using can survive temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees C. Tarka and I are using Intel Ultrabooks as the primary tool to communicate our story with the outside world. We'll be writing our daily blog posts and editing and uploading photos and video. Our Ultrabooks will be powered by the solar panels that we'll have attached to our sleds and also on the tent at night. Using a satellite phone hooked up to the Ultrabook, we can send small chunks of data back to the team in London so they can monitor our progress and see what they're missing. The laptops will also give us a much needed respite from long days on the ice. Uh, first for us both, on this expedition, we'll also be able to watch films in the evenings in the tent. We tested this setup in Greenland earlier this year and the Ultrabooks we used then had had most of their apps removed to save on memory, power and bandwidth. This included all of the games and after we were stuck in the tent for two days waiting for a storm to clear, Tarka ingeniously managed to create a game of chess from scratch, uh, creating a board in Microsoft Paint, saving it as the desktop background and then renaming icons to use on the touchscreen as pieces. 